This right here is one of our biggest problems. Well, technically charcoal isn't our problem, but when it burns and it gets combined with two oxygen and becomes CO2, then it's an issue. But what if the problem could be the solution? What if we could take carbon and sequester it ourselves? And on top of that, we can even benefit from sequestering it. We can take this piece of charcoal, give it life, put it in our soil and bury it, and it will remain there for thousands of years. This carbon will not go anywhere. Once we've given this life and we bury it, we're able to harness its porosity where all the microbes inside of this have a home now and they can sit and stay in the soil where it can then help break down organic matter, which then feeds our plants, which would then lead to increased yields. So we would have better food production along with sequestering carbon. Yesterday, this was a dried out branch that had been sitting on my property for a while. I then put it into my retort over there where I was able to burn it in a low oxygen environment, which then left me with charcoal. The process of turning this into charcoal, you off gas all of the organic matter and all you're left with is the carbon. This is so porous and it does such a good job of holding on to things that this is used for uh, somebody who needs to have their stomach pump from either poison or uh, drinking too much alcohol. I think by taking this charcoal, turning it into biochar, and then using that in our garden and in our soils to help rebuild them and give us better yields is the best way that we can sequester carbon. Did you know that the Empire State Building has over 3 million square feet and that each gram of charcoal has about a thousand square feet? So this little two gallon bucket I have right here, this has the same amount of square footage as the Empire State Building. And I'm going to go mix this into my compost and then put it out in my soil. That's a lot of microorganisms that are going to be able to live in this and help feed my plants. The half-life of carbon is over 3,700 years. So this is going to be in the soil for a very long time, helping keep all the microorganisms alive and keeping my soil nice and healthy long after I'm gone. Normally, when you add this to your soil, you want to do it at about a 10% ratio. Right here, I'm adding it to my compost because I want to allow this to have time to get all of those beneficial microbes in it from the compost. I want those to work their way into the charcoal to become biochar, so that way when it goes out into the soil, it'll already have all of that life and I don't have to worry about the charcoal robbing the soil of nutrients and having to over fertilize in order to uh, bring life to the carbon. So what happens to your charcoal if you don't turn it into biochar before putting it into your soil? It's a giant sponge. So it wants to hold on to everything that it comes in contact with. So it can actually rob nutrients from your plants when it first gets worked into your soil. So that's why it's a good idea to add it to a compost pile give it a few weeks of getting watered and allowing those microorganisms to work their way into the charcoal and then taking that and spreading that out into your garden. It's like they know I'm trying to record a video. 